Hello, last episode we went into stuff like we went into the moves, items, and abilities. So this time, let's go into things like EVs. So, as you can tell by the Charizard, it has a base EV has base stats of 78 HP, 84 attack, 78 defense, 109 special attack, 85 special defense, and 100 speed. Now we have 508 EVs to disperse. So, usually go in intervals of 250, 250, and 4. So, usually I give Charizard a 250 speed. And then I give him usually a, beast to, a boost to 250 special defense. And then I give 8 to HP. That's a good Charizard. Now, Natures. Natures do things like give him more special, more attack and less special attack, or more defense and less attack. Which is usually what I go for because I gave him no regular attacking move, so I go for bold, ups his defense. And that's pretty much what they had him do here, except minus the speed and the special attack thing. So on to Greninja. Greninja gets stab on everything, so I usually go for 250 HP. And then... 250, 250, um, I'm going to go with specialty, and then 8 speed. Let's give him a little boost in speed. And now on to Gengar. Gengar, they recommend speed and special attack, which is usually what I do, but he's a little frail, so this time I'm going to go for 250 defense. Uh, what else can I go for? I'm going to go with speed, I'm going to go 8 and then on special attack I'm gonna go 250 and then on nature I'm gonna give him plus special attack minus speed it will cover the 8 I gave him there I realize I didn't give Greninja ability Greninja I'm gonna go with a plus defense I think plus defense minus attack because I give him no physical moves same there so on to Clefable. Clefable is a tank so I'm gonna go plus HP minus something. I forgot what ability that which one that is. Doesn't look like there is one, so I'm just gonna go with plus I don't wanna go minus attack. I'm gonna go plus speed minus D. Cause we'll have other things to deal. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a boost of HP, so two fifty. And I'm going to do Hmm. I'm going to go with a plus attack, 250, and 8 defense, just to kind of maybe cover a little bit of what we're losing. Tyranitar, I usually give it timid nature. It's plus speed, minus attack, just so I can get the stealth rocks out first. 250 HP, 250 defense, so it can take a hit, and... I'm going to give it 8 attack just to try to cover up what we're losing there. And the Breloom. It's a physical, so we want to go 250 attack. We want to go 250 defense so it can take a hit, similar to what we did with the Tyranitar. And whatever we minus, we're going to give that 8 too. I'm going to give it plus attack, minus special defense, and give it that 8. Okay, so now, let's nickname him. This has turned more into a little UU team building for me than a 101, but... The first one was more one on one. Okay, so Charizard. Actually, no, I'm not gonna name him. Leave it at this. I know this one's a little short, so I'll probably just upload it same day, or maybe even edit it into the last video. I'm not sure. But I actually know what we have some time, so let's name the team. E O U building. Enter. Let's do a little OU battle with it to see how well we did. So we're going to go X and Y OU. Pick OU building. And look for a battle. Gengar and... It's in... What? Uh, this is what I hate when a new game comes out. So now we need to remove the haze off Gengar. And it's... And the rock... And the gem off Tyranitar. Oh, that's some bull honky. I guess we're just going to give it leftovers so it can, you know, regain some HP. 
and Tyranitar, we have to get rid of its haze for I don't know why. Uh, I guess we should just give it Brick Break. It's not going to be touched, but whatever. Okay, will you let us do it now, or is he going to tell us something else is unreleased? Looking for a battle, it's going to take forever. Here you go, we got a little battle. From Just from looking at this, I can tell that it's probably going to be a Mega Evolve Lucario. Smogon's moving a little slow today, I apologize. So let's go out with the Tyranitar for the Stealth Rocks. Okay, I appear to have fixed the lag a little bit. Okay, so we want to bleed out with a with a stone. Let's see, that's why we gave him the defense. We can take things like that and throw out a stealth rock before we switch into Charizard. Which we will mega evolve to get rid of the Standstorm, yeah, I know, but we're going to still have the Tyranitar to Standstorm again with, so it won't be a problem. He's probably going to be switching in to his Gibile there. Or, I'm sorry, whatever the final evolution of that is. Let's Mega Evolve, and we'll go for a Dragon Claw. I know he's going to switch into... Ah, do not go to that. Do not go to that. I don't think he thought about that, because Fairy is, effect is not... Fairy takes super effective damage from fire. I don't know if he realizes that. Let's see. Also, do not go to that. Do not follow his name. It's a little inappropriate. Okay, come on. I'm going to start the timer just to speed this along a little bit. So, yeah. Let's examine his team, why he does stuff like this, so we can kind of get a feel for what he's going to do next. I don't. I think he's going to stay into here because he knows he's dead. Let's just go for a flamethrower. And after that, he's probably going to go into that Gib Isle, but I think he knows I have the Dragon Claw on me, so... He's going to go for the Destiny Bond. He's going to get taken out by me. And I'm going to get taken out too, but we're both low HP. I'm confused. I'm probably going to get confused again. Let's just take this thing out. It'll take me out too, yeah. But I think it's a fair exchange. It leaves he still has some damage on the Skeptile from something. And I believe he's going to go into Garchomp next, which wants me to go into Tyranitar. Oh, he goes into Crobatman. Okay, this could be easily stopped by just doing a Stone Edge. If he stays in, he might switch to Infernape to get the four times weakness against fighting on me. Or he's going to go for Confuse Ray. He just loves to use frickin' Confuse Ray, obviously. Now he's probably going to switch into the Infernape, which I know the Infernape will outspeed. Or he goes into this. There's a regular surprise here. I'm going to go for Focus Blast, because Lucario is weak with the Steel against Focus Blast. If he ever, you know, takes his turn. He's probably going to Mega Vol for the stat boost, but I probably should have saved the Mega Vol for tonight around the because I did pretty much not... Oh, he took me out first. Okay, well, I'm going to want to go into Breloom now. And with Breloom, I want to do Sky Uppercut. So, wait for him to move. If he stays in, he might switch out to Infernape to, you know, get rid of the Breloom. And if he does, I'll just switch into my, um, Greninja, because Greninja can do things with the water and the blizzard to take out other types. Or he goes for the Blaze Kick. Sky Uppercut should take it out, yep. Okay, now he's probably gonna go in with, probably, yep, with him. I got nothing I can handle him right now, so I'm gonna switch into him. Hopefully he won't do a fight. Yeah, he did Blaze Kick. Now, I hope I outspeed him, because if I outspeed him, I can, uh, if I outspeed him, I'll turn to a flying type in this fight. Oh. oh, wait, no, I'm switching to a flying type, Aerial Ace, take it out. Almost. But now I'm not gonna be able to. Now he's not gonna be able to take me out with the grass moves because I'm a flying type now technically. So he's just gonna use gig. Oh, he didn't know I had protein. <laughs> Goodbye, retard lizard. Okay, so now everything he has is weak to this one Pokemon. I don't think I outspeed him. And he's super. He's gonna be super effective against Blizzard if I can hit Blizzard. If I get lucky and hit Blizzard. Missed. 
Uh, do I want to... Oh, I gotta stay in now. Yep, Crunchy takes me out. Okay, he is weak to a Sky Uppercut. If he doesn't take me out with the Crunch, which he might, because he's just the freaking beast, Garchomp. I usually... up. Oh, he has that on him. Okay. <sighs> Gengar is an option here. I did put Brick Break on the Gengar, but Energy Ball does do much more damage. And it has a chance to lower... Yeah, I'm immune to it. Has a chance to lower his stats, which it didn't. Okay. Will he stay in or will he go? He might stay in just to... Because he knows that Pokemon could possibly be screwed. I mean, I'm honestly screwed if he takes out this Gengar. Okay. It's Infernape, I believe. The only thing it can do to me is the Blaze Kick, because I don't think the fighting move is going to have any effectivity to it. But I don't know if I have anything I could take this out with. Let's see, my most powerful move is the Sludge Wave, and he did the Jewel Chop, which did take me out. So, looks like this team is a little flawed, but we did pretty good against a average UU team. With a little, with a little uh, switching around, this team could come decent. Now, let's see what he does. He's probably going to go for... I wonder if he even has a fighting move on him. He may or may not. Nope, yep, brick brick. Oh, I resist I'm fairy now. I forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> I want to go belly drum. Just once. And he's going to outspeed me and take me out this round. I shouldn't have gone for the belly drum. Oh, well. Good game, dude. You did pretty good. You made a couple mistakes. I made a couple mistakes. Both made mistakes. GG. So, we, so we've so we made the team, we've used the team, and it all turned out well. The team is slightly flawed, but that might be in the strategy that I used. And next Pokemon Battling 101, I will kind of do some strategy tips. See you next time.